welcome back to my channel it's your hazel like goddess kimberly so um thank you guys for supporting me thank you guys for liking thank you guys for commenting thank you guys for sharing thank you guys for subscribing try the journey with me so um in this video i'll just be like showing you guys a little snippet of my little nightly affirmations so i don't do this religiously i don't do this every single night but i do talk to god but um sometimes i like to get into the word a little bit deeper so um normally i would be like i am rich i am that bitch i am healthy i am wealthy i like i just speak to myself you know you get um into your zone you get into that realm where you're like okay god let's just have a one and one let's do our thing let's manifest i mean i'm not going to be speaking up my manifestations on here but i mean when i'm an, i'm in that one and one zone with god that's when i'll be pouring out my manifestations and then even as i don't know i think somehow all of us are prophets hold on let me let me explain what i'm saying before you judge me okay <laughs> but um what i'm saying is um somehow all of us are prophets in that i mean there are some times that we are thinking about certain things and then there's another thought behind it where um it's like we can even answer some of the questions that we have for god or some of the um things we question about life and stuff like that so um it's like some people would say that we're hearing voices but it's like the prophet that god made us to be so that's why we're hearing certain voices because we are are favored or granted that permission by god to um instill like certain thoughts in our mind whereas we can um help ourselves to get out of certain situations or help ourselves um to better a situation so it's not as i said religiously that i do this but i just want to share with you guys my nightly affirmations um i got this devotional it's called amazing grace so Usually, okay, it has like each day of the year. So what I normally do is find that date or sometimes I'll just flip it and whichever um, scripture comes up, I'll just get into it. So today is February 15th and um, today's um, topic is tears of joy. So it says, those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. And that's from Psalm 126, verse 5. And then later on in the book, they usually, after they give you the scripture and the topic, they usually um, give you a little, they expound and give you a little bit more information on um, what they mean. So you can probably like delve into, into it a little bit more so your thoughts can, you know, so it says in times of sadness whether from a fresh heartbreak or the memory of a distant one it can seem like the pain will never end no words of comfort no matter how true or well intentioned can take away that ache that's definitely true um these are the times we need only to crawl in our abba's lap and allow his love and promises to envelop in us in comfort he won't say when, but he does assure us we will shout again for joy. That I'm sure of. And then, oh, and Abba's lap. Abba is our father, Lord Jesus. So look to him for comfort. As he promised us, we will shout again for joy. Let me repeat the psalm. Psalm 126, verse 5. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. So some of us, we go to bed and we cry ourselves to sleep. And we're wondering, like, God, I'm begging you to do something. 
your tears are not going to be in vain your tears will not be in vain let me assure you that because i have testimonies where i can say i've cried myself to sleep and then god has just moved me totally out of a situation where um you're in a better mental space you were in a better um mindset um you're just in a whole better positive uh, um living so um i think it okay i saw something that trish to real did today and you guys can follow her on youtube she's like oh my gosh she's such a gem but um she posted something earlier on youtube saying that we should um allow ourselves to accept change and accept new things into our life into our lives um i know i'm straying a little bit but it's just resting on my mind because um i have realized that i don't like change and in order for me to grow and in order for me to wipe those tears of sadness away and shout for joy i need to welcome and accept change in my in, in lo with loving arms so um i'm just going to be moving forward with the mindset that i need to accept change some changes come into your life according to you untimely but as i always say god is working behind the scenes just trust the process so it asks a question um what are you shedding tears about lately can you let god comfort you and these are the questions that you would like um question yourself and ask and answer um a lot of us we have our own personal problems we have our own battles that we're facing and of course we know the answers um we know how to get out of the situation but again again we don't like to accept change i know i did stray a little bit but at the end of the day rest assured we are gonna be shouting <laughs> shouting um tear um shouting in joy no more tears no more tears so that's just it for tonight um nightly affirmation so i'll just say my manifestations um pray and just go to bed pray about my friends my family everything that i touch everything that i do um so that's normally what i do um so yeah that's it for this video guys um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next upload peace